your sufficiency is of God, my God. Everything that you would need in abundance, everything that you would adequately need, I want you to know that it is in God, it is found in God, and you would have them in your life. The word of God in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5 says, Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God, my God. It says our sufficiency, our more than enough is of God. The things that is adequate that we would ever desire is of God. As long as I have God, I have everything that I need. That was what he was simply saying. Because sufficiency is a word used for adequate, is a word used for enough, is a word used for abundance. And here the Apostle Paul was reminding us, saying to us that your sufficiency, that our sufficiency is of God. I want you to know, beloved, every day, every moment in time of your life, every passing day of your life, always remind yourself that you have everything that you need. As long as you have God, as long as you have his goodness with you, he said, my grace is sufficient, is more than enough. God himself is more than enough to you. There are sometimes you may think that your life will be complete with some people around you. There are sometimes you will feel that the things you would need in your home will be complete when you have that extra job. There are sometimes you will think that you will be balanced when you have one uncle who would always send money and hold you up. There are sometimes you will think that when you have that extra money coming from the ministry that will help you and sustain you. I want you to know, dear child of God, that as long as you have God, you have everything. As long as you are worshipping and serving this God of heaven, this God who has the gold and silver, and then he said, the gold and silver are mine, says the Lord. The God who made the whole world and hold it in his hands, I want you to know that that is the God you are serving. That is the God you are following. That is the God you are worshipping. And then he's saying to you today that he is your sufficiency, which means he is everything that you would ever need, which means every single thing you would desire in your life is found in him. Man won't ever be sufficient to you. It doesn't matter how much a man is showing kindness to you. They cannot be as sufficient as God would. I want you to direct your focus to God today and see him to be your more than enough supply. And see him to be that God who has promised to supply all of your needs according to his riches, my God. According to the riches of his glory. Is not according to the riches of a man. It is not according to the support system from the government. He said according to the riches of his glory. It is not according to the child support system. All of these things are beautiful. But he said that he will be your sufficiency. He will be more than enough to you. That is to say everything God will bring your way will be more than enough. You would have more than enough that will sustain you. There is nobody on the face of the earth that can love you the way God would. It doesn't matter how much people around you want to take care of you. They cannot take care of you the way God would. And then he is telling you that he is more than enough to you. He is telling you that is your adequacy, dear child of God. Always know that your sufficiency, your adequacies, all the things that you would need is from God and God alone. Man can only try their best. 
Man can only go as far as they can go, but all that you will need in every facet of your life, all that you will need in every area of your life is found in God. This is why the Apostle Paul knew that he may plant and Apollos may water, but the increase is from God alone, my God. He knew that people may try to be of help as much as they would. He knew that he can make some investment. He knew that he can walk. He can do some things with his life. He can do some things with his life that will be profitable. But then he said, that increase, my God, that abundance is from God and God alone. That sufficiency that you need is from God and God alone. Permit me to say that the enoughness of your life the more than enough that you would need is from God and God alone. And if the Apostle Paul knew and then declared this word, I want you to also declare it. Tell your family, tell your children, tell your loved ones that as long as we have God, we have everything that we need. It doesn't matter what may be denied of us up until now. It doesn't matter how long the things that we have expected has not come. As long as we keep having God, as long as we keep holding on to Him, as long as we keep relying upon Him, every single thing that we need in life, we will receive them in a quantum. We will receive them in abundance. We will receive them in a way and manner that it will be an overflow. Many a time things aren't in place when believers look for their sufficiency in man. Quit looking for your sufficiency in man. Man cannot satisfy you. It is only God that can satisfy you. That friend can only try his best. That friend and colleague of yours can only try her best. But only God can be more than enough for you. When you seek that grace from God, look to God. Man can help you with your advices. That is beautiful. But he said, my grace is sufficient for you. What he's simply saying is my goodness is sufficient for you. It's good when man becomes good to you. But when God becomes good to you, it is then best. Ah, my God. It is good when man becomes good to you. It is also when man becomes good to you. But when God becomes good to you, everything best will be found with you. Everything best will be found in your household. God will give you that one that will bring you to extreme joy. God will bring you that one that will cause you to be excited. Paul said again, I am what I am by the grace of God. He said, I am what I am by the grace of God of God. That grace that God has bestowed upon you will be the reason at which you'll be competent in everything that you are seeking to achieve in your life. Will be the reason that every single thing that you are pursuing to do with your life will be profitable. Dear child of God, focus on the one who is excellent in power. Focus on the one whose primary goal is to see that you have good gifts always focus on the one who will not withdraw his blessings and if he had said that his gifts are without repentance i want you to know that everything that he has given unto you will be more than enough to you you would have them in your supply always you would have them in your household always so what is that thing you are seeking what is that thing you are seeking from the lord dear child of god look unto god what is that thing you are seeking in life? Dear child of God, look unto God. What is that thing that you have with you but you know it is not enough? Dear child of God, look unto God. What is that thing that you know that you want in your life but what you have cannot bring it your way? Dear child of God, look unto God. He's the mighty supplier. He's the one that will make your life beautiful. Is the one that will bring everything into your life that will cause your heart to be glad. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything 
as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. God will not disappoint you. All that you will need from Him in due time, He will make them available unto you. Keep trusting Him because He is the God that is more than enough for you. And you would have a reason to dance, you would have a reason to rejoice, and you have a cause to testify in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.